Fairmax presents Ybox, the device which enables you to connect your smartphone to your home's VDS terminal, just by downloading the app. With Ybox, you can perform more functions than from your home's terminal. You can receive calls even when you're not at home. Open the door to your visitors from the sofa. Turn on the camera while on holiday. Open the door without carrying keys. With Ybox, you're always connected with your home. Firstly, download the Ybox application from Google Play or Apple Store. Open the application and add a new device by pressing the plus button. Then, select New Device. Next, the app will tell you to press the Ybox control button until the Wi-Fi LED flashes in a reddish tone. Once we have done this, press Next and the QR code reader will appear. After reading the code, in Android it will ask you to choose your home's Wi-Fi network and enter the password. In Apple, you will have to enter your SSID and password. Once you have entered this information, press Next. The app will start a countdown to establish the connection with your network. Once connected, the application will ask you to name your device. After pressing Save, you will return to the main application menu. If you press the camera icon, you can enable the Auto On function and get an image from the outdoor panel. When using it for the first time, the application will ask you to change the password. To do so, press Confirm and the menu will appear where you can change the passwords. After that, press the Save icon. When you receive a call, if you have an Apple device, you will receive a notification. On Android, the app will open directly. Press the notification or the icon to accept the call. After accepting the call, if you want to speak and be heard, press the pick up button. To open the door, press the key icon and enter the assigned password. Press the lock and the door will open. The application will give you different options with the call menu. You can mute the microphone, record a video without sound, capture images, change the camera or panel if available on your model, refresh the image and activate the F1 option. To register a new user, go to the Users option in the application. Press the plus button and enter the username as well as the authorized functions. They will all be selected by default. After selecting and entering the name, press Save. To finish the invitation process, the administrator must share the link. To do so, you can share the QR code which the invitee reads with their camera or application supported by their phone. The second option is that the administrator sends the link to the user through any phone application. And the last option is that the administrator copies the link shown on the phone and sends it by email or another application. When the invitee accepts, a web page will open where they can install the application or open it if it is already installed. Once opened, they will see the Add Device screen, where they must enter a name and press Next. Next, they will see the main screen with the divert functions authorized by the administrator. In the main menu, there is a register which shows when there has been a call at your door. To access it, press the events icon and the call log will appear. You will also find the gallery, where you can see images and videos of the people who have called at your door. Lastly, you have the settings option. In this option, you can turn the application sound and vibration on or off, as well as exit the app. To check the different settings options, press the Home Settings option. The first option allows you to change the name of the device. You can change both the administrator password and the opening password. If you change either of these, you will have to enter the current password once and the new one twice. After this, press Save. In the display mode, you can select the video quality to reduce data usage. You can change your Wi-Fi network by accessing the Wi-Fi settings option and from there select the new network and enter the password. You can add more users. Also, you can change the activation time for F1 and enable or disable receiving calls, which will be enabled by default. You can update the firmware version. And finally, you can synchronize both the date and time of your device. Please contact us for more information.